live. It's another leg day. I love having all you here. This is super fun. I believe this is our most litty comment section before the workout has begun. Um, oh, you know. You know what you need. You saw it. I need my basket of laundries, like so. I need my detergent, which could be like a good eight to 10 pounds, especially if it's close to full. Shout out to Amazon for delivering this during the crisis. Uh, if you do not have a laundry basket, if you're one of those fancy people who does laundry inside their place and maybe you got like, like a room for it or something, who knows? Who knows what we got out there? You need to find some receptacle of clothes it could be a duffel. It could be a little bit of luggage. Um, and any shape is good. Today, the more awkward to pick up, the better the object. I want this to be uh, minimal handles, big squares, you know, the cylinder type. Make it challenging. Uh, the basket, not super heavy on average. I just pulled my scale out. And with the detergent and a full set of clothes, which I need to launder uh, today after this stream, as a matter of fact, I got about 30 pounds. So for most of you watching, 30 pounds is not a big deal to squat or to deadlift or anything for that, uh, for that matter. However, once we make it awkward to carry, once we bring it far away from the body, and we do some complex moves with it like we're about to try to today, uh, it can get quite nasty. So prepare to work your legs, get your receptacle. And for me, this was a nice excuse to fill the basket up. There were some things I were, uh, I was avoiding cleaning, like these towels I've been using in the streams, like this lovely sweater for formal events only, you know, business events. I pull this one out for, goes great with the tie. Uh, Fill it up extra and let this be your excuse today to maybe do the sheets, do the extra towels that you've been lagging on. Um, maybe you don't procrastinate with your cleanliness as much as I do and that shit's already taken care of. In that case, just fill up with some clean clothes. You dig? All right. And uh, yeah, I'll give you a moment. We do need comfortable floor space as well. Uh, carpet is great. I've got my mat, my yoga-ish mat, um, basket, detergent to throw it in to add extra weight and your comfortable floor space. And I'm also going to do this because Friday wasn't enough for me, so I'm going to go ahead and carry on and pour one out for you guys. All right. This has been the thing that keeps me sane. Hopefully it helps keep you sane. Uh, if you got it nearby, your favorite fitness fluids, please give me a cheers. It's been quite a day for me. You know, you guys know we launched the app last night. Uh, we're already working on debugging, uh, round the clock process, of course, all for the betterment of the community and you watching. So here it is. Help me loosen up a bit. Celebrate the situation. Oh, that's strong Gatorade. Are we ready? Do we have our stuff? Yeah, for sure. For Tini in the house. Did I say that right? Got my laundries. Keep it nearby. We don't need it yet. Got my extra weight. Keep it nearby. We don't need it yet. We're going to hit this in levels like we've been doing most of the workouts. Some of it will get a little crazy at the end, complexity wise. If it's not for you, just stick to the previous levels. You dig? First, very, very simple, we squat. Two fundamental moves today. One is a get up from the floor, the other is a squat. Let's begin with the squat. Get your space. I'm gonna stand outside my mat so I can get a little bit wider than usual. If you've got floor space like this, maybe use some kind of measurement to get yourself a little wider than our normal squat, so we can get a nice inner thigh stretch. Make sure the weight is back in the heels. You should be able to wiggle your toes. That's how you know the weight is loaded in the right spot. Then I'm sticking my butt out. If you see me from the side, I'm way bent over. This is what we want. Not super upright. When there's no weight involved, we want to be bent over. Lean back into the heels. 
get nice and low, get our first stretch, hang down there for a moment, come on up, and at the top, <clears throat> give me that nice loop thrust you've been waiting for. Go for the second rep, good inner thigh stretch, give me the nice pop, sit into it, come on up, give me the nice pop, sit into it again, stretching out the inner thighs, the glutes, the hamstrings, reactivating. If you did my yin yoga stretch yesterday, we're going to reactivate all that stuff that got loosened up and relaxed. Each one of these, you should strive to get a little bit lower than the last. Open up that range of motion. Stretch it out. Of course, the breathing, all right? One thing I'm loving about this crisis is the air cleanliness improvements in the city. So I'm taking it in right now. Oh, while it lasts. Be grateful of whatever the situation is. Find some good in it. Right now, for me, it's that air quality. Damn, it's nice. Let's get one more squat together. We'll hold it at the bottom. And pop on up. Beautiful. Next, a little bit of glute warm up. I'm standing. I have one leg behind me, and I'm kicking it back. Super simple. Glute kickbacks. We're not going to play any games with it yet, but this will get us prepared for the next stages. Standing on a leg, it doesn't matter which one. Kicking the heel back, and I'm trying my best not to use the arch in my spine to make the movement happen. I'm setting this in cement, and I'm moving the leg only. It's a very small movement. Get it working. We want to do this one for as long as it takes for that standing leg to get a little bit of heat in it. So of course, this is focus on the glute that's up. In the meantime, we've got that one leg imbalance happening. If this is easy for your balance, close your eyes and continue. And I'll tell you with the audio when we're gonna move on. Of course, be aware of what's around you. Try to know where the hazards are. And if you start falling, open your eyes before you totally succumb to the fall. Now, without stopping the one-legged stance, I'm bending that stand, uh, floating leg and I'm kicking out to the side. I'll show you from the front view. We're still standing on that one leg. It should be heated up by now. I definitely feel mine, especially the lower leg. Kicking out to the side with the bent leg. We got 15 more seconds. Keep working the heat. Handle it on that standing leg. I know it's a lot. For me, it is, at least. And relax and switch. Right away, the other leg now is doing the kickbacks with minimal spine movement. Just these little pulses right here. Let's do it. The smaller, the better on this one. We don't need a big swing. Just keep it easy. on the breath a little bit if it's simple for you. Otherwise, put all your attention into staying balanced. Prepare for those side leg lifts with the bent knee. Go ahead, bend the knee, kick it out to the side. Like you're a dog marking the corner. Focus on your balance. We got another 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, relax. I'll shake it out. Good. Now we're going to do a couple things with that laundry. I want you to find a pair of socks. We've been using pairs of socks in place of balls. So I'm jumping in here. I'll find me a Dirty ass hair. Keep it away from your nose. 
for obvious reasons. We got a ball up, right? You dig? Here we go. Real simple. I'm putting it on the floor. I'm gonna stand on one leg again, or one leg in balance. And with my free foot, I'm scooting this thing on the floor, making a circle around my standing foot. You see, eventually I'll have to swap and bring it to the other side to continue the circles. All right? Check it out a little bit closer. I've got this thing on the ground. Like so. I'm standing, and I'm just sweeping the floor with the sock. Here I'll have to switch, bring it around the front, and continue the circles. All right, prepare for that. We're just going to work the circles in one direction. My favorite boy band. Pick a leg to start on, and let's go. Pick a direction as well. Get as many circles in as you can. I'm going to get to 10 circles, and that'll be the time. I'll be the pace setter. Either direction, either leg. Be very careful with the twisting against the knee, of course. You got to stay careful with all that. I'm halfway. Stick with me. Maybe you're going slower, maybe you're going faster. But the goal is to burn out that standing leg. Get all the muscles alive there before we get to our bigger moves. I got two more circles. Two. And one. Beautiful. Shake it out. We'll do the same thing standing on the other leg. You pick the direction of circle. I'm going to go for ten. And three, two, begin. Have a little bit of fun with it. If you fail, just laugh yourself off and get right back in. And enjoy the opportunity to get better at something we're not perfect at. Which should be everything, right? Everything in life. Room for optimization is always there. I have three more. Stick with me. Keep making those circles. Perfect. Shake it out. Right away, we're getting more squats together. This time, I'm narrower than usual. Last time, we were super wide. Now, I have my feet together, if you can handle it. Otherwise, you know, a fist or two apart is totally fine. I'm going all the way in. Arms forward. Now, we're a little more up. Join me for 20 of these. I'll count out loud. Let's go drop and up. Two, up. Three, up. Four, up. Five, up. Six, up with the glute thrust at the top. Seven, up. Eight, up. You go as low as you want. Nine, up. Lower is better, of course. Ten, up. Another ten, up. <clears throat> Nine, up. Eight, up, seven, up, six, up, five, up, four, up, three, nice little quad burn, two, and one, drop it. Good. Take them out. Cool. We're going to prepare now for the split squat, which will be the other fundamental move. We got the regular squat, and then we got the split squat. So, I'm hovering around my floor space. If you're on a carpet, you're good to go. If you're using a mat, step around the mat so that when we drop our knee, we have something nice and soft to go to. All right? I'm up. We're dropping the back knee down gently. I'm putting the other knee down as well. Now I'm into a double knee stance. If this is uncomfortable, you can double your mat. Same leg up, and we stand all the way. So the first knee will be the same for every rep. 
the first foot up will be the same every rep. Drop the right knee down, drop the left knee down. Pick the left leg up, stand up. Put the right knee down, drop the left knee down. Lift the left leg up, stand up. Now we're here, I'm gonna get through 15 of these. Maybe you're moving with me, maybe you're moving faster than me, or slower, whatever's good. After this 15, I'll tell us all to switch, then we'll switch. This is getting the split squat type of motion ready for when we do it loaded up with a laundry basket. Continue this at your own moderate cardio-ish pace. You'll be able to tell right away if your knees don't like this one. I'm going to give you alternatives through the workout. But ideally, we hit this version all together. <clears throat> I got five more on the switch. Yeah. Now we'll switch. So whereas my right knee was coming down first before, my left knee now will drop to start. Then both. Then the right leg is up and stand. Left knee down, both knees down. Right foot is up, stand up. Let's go. You choose your speed. This is still just a little warm up. Be as gentle as possible when you drop the knees down. And that's a process that requires strength. So don't think you need to be aggressive and fast in the whole thing. Be gentle and smooth instead. I've got another five. And then we're moving on. Two more for me. Working the hips, working the ankles. Good. Stand up. Bring your basket around. Now I want you to find three upper body pieces of clothing. That could be a t-shirt, that could be a tank top, that could be a sweatshirt, a jacket, whatever it is. Three pieces. I got my lovely business sweater. Um, let's see here. I got a tank top. And what else? Three pieces of upper body stuff. I've got t t-shirt. So two shirts and a sweater. And I'm putting it on the floor where it's accessible. Here's the goal. We're on one leg, of course, absolutely. You know the drill. One item at a time, I'm gonna pick it up off the floor and I'm gonna put that shit on. I'm gonna pick the next one up off the floor. I'm gonna put it on as well. The third and final piece of clothing, put it on. will look ridiculous with layers of stuff. You'll be smelling like your dirty clothes. And then we'll take them off also one by one and that will mark a successful end of the game for that leg. Of course, we'll do it again on the other foot, right? So you got your three upper body pieces of clothing. You dig? I've got it on the floor in front of me. And let's all start by standing on the left leg. You pick the order at which you put them on. This would also be a wonderful time to get your camera out. Uh, so we can share this on social media because you will look ridiculous in the process and in the finishing position. Standing on the left, here we go. First item of clothing, put it on. The whole time we're on that one leg. Get that next item. 
Try your best not to fall. Be precise about it. Good. That third item, <laughs> figure it out. Much it's all backwards. Hey. All right, take them off one by one. Toss it on the floor. That standing leg is starting to feel it. Good. Relax. Switch it out. Now we're on the other leg. If you haven't gotten there yet, just get there when you do. Otherwise, I'm starting. In three, two, other leg. Three items of clothing. Stay on that one leg you're standing on. Bunch of coordination involved, as silly as this seems. The standing leg is doing a lot of work, keeping yourself balanced while your eyes are moving all the way around this task. We should be getting a lot better at this one-legged standing stuff. We've been doing it almost every leg day during the quarantine. Ta-da! And take them off. Back in the basket. Perfect. Shake it. As soon as you're done, I'll give you about 30 seconds. We're back to 20 squats. This time it's normal, regular squat width, not too wide, not too narrow. Let this be the one we use for more powerful stuff coming up in the workout. Last piece of the warm-up right here. Join me for 20. Begin. 20. 19. Simple. 18. 17. 16. 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Beautiful. Getting into the big work. Start with just your detergent. And if you don't have the detergent, take a small bundle of your stuff. We want to carry something that's not too heavy yet. Keep it light. We're doing 11 squats, holding it out straight. When we put the weight out in front of the body, it allows us to be a little more upright. So go ahead and allow that upright posture the entire time. Join me for 11. Control the way down. Don't bounce. Arms are straight out. Let's go. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Very good. Again, the weight is not the challenge. It's going to be carrying something strange. Now, we got those split squats with the weight on our shoulder. This is not heavy for us. However, this will get us prepared to do the shoulder carry with the basket next. I want to go above my soft surface so I can tap the knee. And I'm sideways like so. For this one, the longer the split squat, the better. So I'm reaching way out and getting stretch. The shoulder carry should be right next to the ear and right on top of the tracks. It should not be in our hand at all. Make sure, the, as the name implies, shoulder carry, the torso is doing the carry. The hand is just there to keep the balance. All right? Cock the head a little bit to the side. Get it right up against the ear and the jawbone. The arms up top. And you should be able to feel the weight on your torso only. Not putting it in the hands, resting on the shoulder, but fully loaded up there. Also, 11 
knee taps. Be very gentle with the knee tap. I've got the shoulder carry. And here we go. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and it's up to you to go this low or not, 5, I'd like you to get the knee tap, 4, but feel free to do half the range, 3, and not go as low, 2, and 1, good. Switching the shoulder carry and switching the legs. There's no right or wrong. You can have the left shoulder carry with the left leg back or vice versa. Nice long split squat. Here we go for 11 and drop. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I hear my joints cracking. No biggie. 3, move it away. Now, we need a basket. You may add your detergent right off the bat, or you can add it later. That's the beauty of the basket setup. If it's easy, you can add as much as you want into it. We're doing the belly carry. Whatever the shape of your basket is, I want it in front of your body. I've got this traditional rectangular thing. So I'm here, right there, and it's right up against my gut. I got a little lean back. Not too much. We don't want to put it in the lower spine. We're nice and tall with just a little hip thrust forward. All right. This is my carry. If you got the cylinder shape, it's going to look a little different. Maybe a little more like this. Okay. So go ahead and figure out how you want to hold it, but it's on the front of the body. It's not yet the shoulder carry. Here we are. Nice and high. And let me show you one. We're just squatting. And I need to make sure my legs are wide enough to not inhibit the movement of this thing. So I'm here. You can see in the front, my legs are rounded. So maybe this is the way to carry those rectangles. Because if I'm here, I really got to get wide with the knees. You pick your poison though. Part of today's challenge is figuring out how to hold this awkward thing. Figure it out. There's no wrong way. I've got mine. Here we go for 11 squats. Get nice and low. The weight's out front so we can be upright. Let's begin. 11. Squeeze. 10. Squeeze. 9. Squeeze. 8. Squeeze. 7. Whoop. 6. Whoop. 5. Whoop. 4. Whoop. 3. Whoop. 2. Whoop. 1. Got it. Good. Don't put the basket down. We're going to now transition to the shoulder carry and get our split squats. So get your soft surface ready. Let's all put this on the right shoulder. Again, the more awkward, the better. Here we are. Inside edge of that basket, right up against my ear. I don't want it out here to be heavy in my arm. Right up against the neck. And then use the ear to clamp down on it. Here's our shoulder carry. It's on the right shoulder, so my right leg is back. Get it set up, we've got 11 knee taps. Let's go. 11, 10, 9. Of course, the other hand can help. 8, 7, 6, Five, not too heavy, but awkward. Four, three, two, one. Now, can you switch shoulders without putting it on the floor? Any technique works. Now I'm on my awkward side. Get it really close to the ear. Clamp down. Other hand is there to help. Left shoulder, left leg back. Like so. Here we go for 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
9, 10, 11. Now we put it down. Good. Excellent. To celebrate the round, we'll get another 20 squats. No weight at all. Feel the freedom of no extra weight on the body. This one I want wide again, ultra wide. Work the inner thighs. Here we go. 20, 19, 18. Legs all the way straight at the top. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Next round. You can add weight to the basket. I'll add a couple towels. My uh, deep scientific research showed the average towel is about a pound. So every one of these you add, extra pound. Of course, any liquid, great additions too. It might seem marginal at first, but here's my water. This might be another two pounds. It'll make a difference. It starts adding up. Two moves again, the squat and the shoulder carry, knee tap. You can stick with those moves if they were difficult. 11 reps of each and 11 reps per knee on the split squat. However, if you wanna to go to level two, you're gonna follow me and we'll get a couple little extra modifications, All right? The squat, the modification is we go to the floor. We use the weight of the basket to give ourselves a little momentum and drive ourselves forward. We've done the deck squats uh, a handful of times so far with these quarantine series. Um, however, we've done it with no weights. Today, the weight actually will help drive our momentum forward. Let me show you a couple, then we'll try, then we'll do our 11, or you stick with the 11 regular squats. Your choice. Of course, I have my soft surface. I'm gonna hold this in a way where a lot of the weight is in front of my body. I'm also gonna bring it a little bit higher. And for me, I put the hands here so that I can give myself more space if I need. I'll show you from the side. I'm gonna sit. The weight is out front so it can help me squat down comfortably. Now this is where it gets tricky. We need to throw the laundry forward to generate momentum forward so we can roll ourselves off the ground. Come on back and throw it up. Sit down. The more forward the weight, the easier this is, but of course the harder it becomes on the arms. Lean back, thrust it, and go ahead. Now, if that's impossible, just do 11 squats. Otherwise, follow with me. 11 deck squats with the laundry basket. Let's work. Drop. And up, two, and up, three, and up. And figure out how to hold your basket. It's all gonna look different. Four, and up, five. Find handles, find a way to grip it. Up, six. I'm starting to use these little air holes as a grip finger placement. Seven, eight, Nine, 10, 11, there it is, good. Now you can drop your basket or hang on to it if you want the extra challenge. Hang on to it while I demonstrate the next piece. We're gonna shoulder carry, we're gonna knee tap, Put it on the right shoulder. The right foot goes back. We drop down. We go to both knees. Go to the laces and sit. Come back up. The left foot comes up and we put it in reverse. Right leg down, left leg down. 
laces and sit. Come up, left leg up, stand. All right? Follow along with me, I'll narrate. Otherwise, just do 11 knee taps, like we already demonstrated. But if you're coming with me, let's go. The extra work. Right shoulder, and prepare. Right foot back, right knee down, left leg down, and go to prayer. Come up, left leg up, stand. Here goes two, right leg down, both knees down, sit. Come up, left leg up, right foot up, stand. Here we go, right knee, left knee, sit. Up, left foot, stand. Right knee, left knee, sit. Up, left foot, right foot, hang in there. The basket's getting awkward. Right knee, left knee, sit. The shoulders are getting tired. Up, left leg, right leg. Again, right knee, left knee, sit. Up, left foot, right foot. Again, right knee, left knee, sit. Up, left foot, right foot. Last one, right knee, left knee, sit, up. Left foot, right foot. You can drop the basket or switch without dropping it. Now it's on my left shoulder. Now the left knee will drop first. Shall we? Let my connection come back. There we go. Left shoulder, left foot drops first. Let's do it. One, left knee down. Right knee down, laces and surrender. Come up, right foot, left foot. Put it in reverse, left knee down, right knee down. Flop the feet, sit to the prayer. Come up, right foot, left foot. Now a little faster, left knee, right knee, sit. Up, right foot, left foot. Left knee, right knee, sit, up, right foot, left foot. Again, left knee, right knee, flip and sit, up, right foot, stand. Again, left leg, right leg, sit, up, right foot, left foot. Left knee, sit, come on up, right foot. Left knee first, sit. Right foot first. Two more, left knee. Come on, right foot. Left knee, last one. And up, right foot. And drop that basket. Woo! Solid, grab a sip. We're gonna celebrate with the 20 squat variations again. Cheers to you. Okay. This 20, we've got our regular squat width, but I'm up on the toes the whole time. I'm up on the toes. And make sure the feet are as parallel as we can make them and we feel the weight in the big toe instead of breaking out to the sides. So let's try to make the foot bones parallel with the shin bones and all of those parallel with each other. And we're gonna squat like so. But like I said, original width, original recipe squat width. Toes, drop. Look at the knees blowing out. We want that. That's the one moment where they're not parallel in all dimensions. This is a no-go. We want the bowing. Boeing is getting a massive chunk of the stimulus. Shall we? 20, 19, 18. If your ankles and knees don't like it, 17. Just go flat foot. 16, it's all gravy. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Stick with me with your version. 
10, 9, get that volume, 8, 7, 6, 5, good reps, 4, very nice, 3, 2, and 1. Beautiful. Shake it out. Good. Level 3. Fill that basket up some more. Do I have anything here in my pocket? Oh, I got some of these pillows. Put a couple more things in there. Here we go. Maybe a little more liquid, because we know that's heavy. And of course, the detergent stays. That's probably the best thing we got in there. And if you have weights, I mean, might as well throw them in, yeah. Variation on the squat, we do the same thing. We go all the way to the floor, and we'll try to get up. If that's not in your wheelhouse, just do the regular squats with that belly carry, okay? Uh, we will try to add a little extra pause. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Those of you who did the deck squat perfectly, this will be the challenge. Got my same carriage. I'm going all the way down, and I sit. We're going to try our best to pause on the way up at the bottom of the squat, and then we stand. You can choose regular squats, squat butt to the floor, or this new level, squat butt to the floor with the pause on the way up. Join me for 11. Here we go. Sit, pause, and up. Sit, pause, then we're on. Three, pause, and we're on. And if you're just doing regular squats, try to follow our pace. It's going to make your squats nice and slow. Four, pause, up. Five, use the laundry's momentum. Pause. Six, halfway. Pause and up. Seven. Pause and up. Eight. Pause and up. Nine. Uh. Pause and up. Use the laundry. Ten. I know it's heavy, but the momentum can work for you. Pause and up. Eleven. Pause, and up. Drop that basket. Very good. The next move, we got options. Level one is still tapping the knee. Level two is knee, both knees. Stand up, stand up. Our new level three is our full shoulder carry get up. It's in the app. This is how it works. And we have to get a little more precise with this one. I want you to be careful. Stepping back with the right foot. Follow with me so you can learn. Drop the right knee down. Now, I can lift the right toes. And I have this free windshield wipe situation. If you see me from the front, I'm going to windshield wipe the shin in. It was back here. Now it's in. See, my laces are down. Now I'm going to direct my body weight towards the open gap. So align that biceps to two knee directions. I'm going to put my arm weight out there. I'm going to sit right on top of that shin. Right away you'll know if this feels positive or not so much on the ground it be. If you don't like it, get the fuck out. Go back to those earlier variations. The knee taps, the knee get up, or this thing if you want the extra sauce. Notice again, I got my laces down. It's not this. That's going to block me. I want to point the toes. Then I roll myself up. I windshield wipe the knee, put it in reverse, and I can stand up once more. Let's try it again on both sides. First on the right, right foot back. 
drop the right knee, lift the right toes, windshield wipe in, shoot, laces are down, not this, laces. I sit back by bending over, look from the side, look at how bent over I am, sit the butt down. Then I roll my body forward, come up, windshield wipe, and stand. You choose whether you want to do that or not. I'm going to try the other leg now before we put it with weight. Now the left foot is back, the left knee is down, lift the toes, windshield wipe in, lace is down. I sit, and my bar of rotation is the shin. The shin stays down. I come up on top of that shin again, and then I windshield wipe out, and I stand. Try one more, drop the knee, lift the toes, windshield wipe, sit. Up, open it up, and stand. Your choice. We got three variations now. Because that takes so long, we're only doing six per leg. We will do it with the shoulder carry. I dare you. I'm going to start on the right shoulder, and we're going to put the right leg back first. I'll show you from this angle. Right leg back, join me. Right knee down. Lift the toes, windshield wipe in, sit, come up on the shin, windshield wipe out, and stand. And if you're not doing this, just do 11 knee taps, 11 of those split squats. Number two, right knee down, windshield wipe, sit, come up, open it up, stand. Number three, right knee, windshield wipe. Sit. We're up. Windshield wipe out. Stand. Number four. Drop it down. Windshield. In. Pop it up. Open up. Stand. Five. Knee down. Wipe. Sit on the chin. Up. Wipe. Stand. Once more. Number six. Drop the knee. Windshield wipe. Sit. Come up. Put your white, stand. Don't drop the basket, but switch sides. Left shoulder, left knee goes back first. Here we go. One, drop down. Plop, sit, up, open, stand. Drop the left knee. When you like the left leg in, sit over the shin. Come back up to the knee. Open the windshield wipe. Stand. Here's three out of six. Drop down. Close it. Sit. Up. Open it. Chop. Three to go. Knee down. Windshield wipe. Sit. Pop it open. And stand. Two more. Drop down. Wipe. Sit. Up. Open. Stand. Last time, down, white, sit, up, open, stand. Now, don't drop it. The 20 celebration squats are with the basket now. Figure out how to carry it. And that basket is compressing my lungs. It's hard to breathe. This is a part of the challenge game. Here we go. 20 with me. 20, 19, 18, 17, stick with it, 16, 15, it's a burn, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, stick with it. Seven, six, five, four, it's our last big set of 20. Three, two, yeah, one, and drop it. Very nice. Grab a sip. Lordy, Lordy. 
Some of those got a little complex, but hopefully you chose the right variation for yourself. One of the goals of this stream, not just this one, but the whole series, of course, is to provide a little something for everybody. That means equipment in the house uh, and skill level. So hopefully we presented the levels for everybody today. Now, I got one more challenge and it's the full get up to completely lying down. Thank you. <laughs> this is still easier than doing laundry. I definitely agree with that. Laundry is one of my nemeses, but I will be doing it after this. And this is my excuse here to put a bunch of stuff in there. Now I'm gonna go home and run it. One challenge remains. If you dare, if you go all the way to level three with me, with the shoulder carry, I'm gonna give you one more thing. I'll leave you with that. There's no crazy burnout today. We're starting the week gradually. Tomorrow's gonna get saucy. Shit, I don't know, today was saucy. I'm sweating. Final challenge. I'm gonna show you without the weight, then I'll show you with the weight, because we do have to manage it. Um, then I'll set you free. We'll do a minute per side, and you see how many you can get. This also would be a wonderful moment <laughs> to get your camera out and provide me with ridiculous footage that I can repost, uh, inspire some people to go out and do something fun. This is our fun, of course making fools of ourselves with our laundry baskets. Some might not understand, but I think it's fun to have. Inspire a little bit of silliness. I do eat my surface that's comfy. So however you want to get down, you're going to get down. Get down. We've done two techniques today. One is the drop the knee, shift down to the butt. The other is just the deck squat, like so. All right, once we're down, we're gonna lie all the way down to our backs. Make the legs go flat, and then we'll come back up. Either you're doing the deck squat, or once you're here, we get a knee underneath you, nice and close. Sit over that shin and do the get up. All right, your choice. I'm probably gonna opt for the deck squat. It's a little more symmetric, might be a little bit smoother, getting up out of the lying down position. Now with the weight, I'll get the pillow off so you can see my body a little bit better. But the weight has to be above us. That means once we start lying down, we gotta shift it to the belly. And you can also have straight arms. Let me demonstrate it one time, and then I'll set that timer for one minute per side, where we're all gonna give it a shot. And maybe send me some footage of this, because it's pretty fun. I'm going shoulder first. I'm gonna sit in the deck squat. I pause here for a moment to make a plan. I need to shift the weight to the front of my body as I lie down. And I let my legs go flat. Here's the hard part. Use the momentum of your legs and also the movement of the laundry basket to get yourself seated again. Place the weight where you want it to be, wherever it serves you. Maybe for the deck squats, that means right here or you want the extra challenge, whatever. Or you want to go to the shin and do it like so, you choose. But the goal is, with the weight, all the way back to the floor, flat feet lying down completely, and get yourself back up to standing. Ready for that minute? Let's see how many you can do in a minute. Starting in five, four, three, Two, begin. Minute is on. How many can you get? Maybe you try it without the weight if it's really difficult for you.
If you have quirky shaped laundry baskets, this one will be even more interesting. I know I said per side, but I quickly realized whatever version you choose, whatever side you choose is probably the version you're able to do right now, and that's about it. Oh. Damn, nicely done. A little bit less cardio today, a little more coordination based. Definitely share this one. Um, oh, 12? I don't think I got that many. Were you using uh, the deck squat or the the knee drop situation. What was your technique, Nassim? <sighs> Obviously, I was doing the deck squat the whole time. I should have tried the other one. <sighs> Anybody? Any input? What technique did you use? That was pretty difficult. Of course, depending on your laundry basket, this could have been way worse, way better, more or less of a challenge. <sighs> Okay, now that I'm sitting here, <laughs> Jeff, you nasty. <laughs> now that I'm sitting here relaxing, I'm getting quite drenched. Uh, so I know we did work it a little bit in the uh, the cardio aspect as well. Very solid, yes, very solid. Have a wonderful day. Do your laundry. I'm about to do mine. That shit's nasty now. It's been on the gym floor. Ugh. Dead squat. Like, okay, yeah, yeah, for sure. The consensus is in the deck squat where we put our butt on the floor. That was a technique of choice. Jack, what did you think? Did you have a nice time? I trust if you're a friend of Josh's, you choose uh, all the craziest variations I offered. Only maxing it out. There's no other way. Uh, hope to see you tomorrow or in the future. And we've got all these workouts. They're up. I know we do them live, but they stay up forever, forever. Please go back, try the old ones, find something that you like, you want to catch up on. Dude, thank you, Jack. I appreciate it. It was fun to have you in there in the comments, knowing you're out there halfway across the world. Uh, please stay safe, everybody. Respect each other. Oh, yeah, nice, nice. Definitely see you tomorrow. I like that. I'll hold you to it. I'll call you out tomorrow. Whoo! Have a beautiful day. I don't have much else to say. Uh, look out for the app. It's on the App Store. The Nomad Workout. Uh, because of our bugs right now, everybody gets a free couple days before your free trial even starts. So go ahead and get into it right now. You get all the access. I apologize, Kivan and Asim. It's not yet on Android. <laughs> um, but actually, Jack, I'd be interested to hear um, how it shows up on a non-USA app store. So go ahead and log on and try the Nomad Workout with our logo, this logo. Check it out, download it for free, use all the features, and please leave us a nice, delicious review of as many stars as you choose fit, ideally all of them, and a nice couple words about what we're doing. Uh, we would greatly appreciate it. So we can get this tool of public good out to the people for free right now. The world needs all these little things that we can keep ourselves positively occupied with, proactively occupied. Have a beautiful day. I love you all. Thanks for keeping it fun in the comments. I appreciate you all. And uh, go kick some ass, all right? Go spread some goodness. Mm -hmm.